What's good guys? It's your boy Black Lightning 4547. Today I present to you System Test 60 Wheel Lock Bell Strobes. Let's go ahead and get started. May I have your attention please? May I have your attention please? There has been a fire alarm reported in the building. There has been a fire alarm reported in the building. Please proceed to the stairways and exit the building. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, you guys already know what the deal is. We have reached the milestone of 1,000 subscribers. Guys, I cannot believe. When I started this thing four to five years ago, I never envisioned myself getting this far into the YouTube game. But you guys proved me wrong. You guys supported me from day one, from my first video of, uh, you know, introducing my channel. And now we're here. It's crazy. And it's also crazy <laughs> how far I've come <laughs> with this channel. Um, I went from no editing, you know, blurry camera, you know, to all these cool cuts and edits and smooth camera transitions and things like that it's crazy um what an evolution but guys i cannot thank you guys enough for the continuous support i wouldn't be where i am without any of you guys to support um by just simply clicking on and tuning in to my channel that's just enough to you know please me that's all i need but you guys take it a step further and you guys subscribe you guys like the videos you guys comment you guys share the content with your fellow friends it's just i just cannot thank you guys enough now we just gotta keep on going because as black lining 45 47 we gotta get to that top now i know we i mean we probably ain't gonna beat new age server alarm we ain't gonna beat no legends out there but we we gonna we got to keep on going. We got to keep doing what we do best. You know what I'm saying to you. So let's, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the system test, man. So let's first get this big surprise out the way. We in the gym, right? We go up. We finally have another conventional pull station on the system. Yes, the SK Pull SA is no more. And we have now have a second generation RG RMS 1T in here. Um, a matter of fact, all the pole stations are the RGs RMS 1Ts, the second gens. This happens to have an ESL logo, but that's what it is. So, yeah. And obviously, you guys know there's a mini mantra module behind it. Um, you guys saw it in the unboxing video. Well, hoping you did. Um, so... As the title says, we got Willock Bell Strobes. So right here, we have the Willock MBS G1024. This is a 10-inch uh, motorized bell from 93. And it has the Willock's WS Strobe, which is a 1.5 candela strobe that is glazed with a glazed lens, okay? Um, and like I said, this is, I think, the era when Willock switched fully to motor bells. So, and by the way, this is two wire, by the way, the rest are four wire. So what are the rest of the devices? I mean, you've seen me, you've seen it in the beginning. We have a Willock 46T G1024WH. This is also 10 inches. This is also, well, this is from 92. The rest of, well, the, rest of the devices are actually from 92. Um, this is a four wire device. This is Willox's 46T series, which is a 24 volt DC vibrating bell series. This um, device is equipped with Willox's WH strobe, which is the 15 candela with the glazed lens. Okay, as you guys see right there, and as you can see, what a what a crispy photo right there. Just look at the light just beaming off. I mean, it looks cool. Uh, it is flush mounted. There is no back box behind it. It's directly on the drywall. It will not stay like this. Um, like I said, guys, this is just a demonstration system. This is not a life safety system where I got to follow all the building codes and everything like that. I mean, I try to be as realistic as possible. Um, 
with all the device placement as you guys you know, i mean you don't see another device just stacked along i mean you know they're reasonably placed um you know but at the end of the day it's not a real fire protection system i mean we still have the household smoke alarms so you know this system is not overriding that protection we still have that protection that you know the full coverage of the house so but yeah that's there once again another R uh rg rms one t we got the uh enunciator and yes it is in walk test right now because we're actually about to do a walk test i actually forgot that it was in walk test um in my room we have a Willock 46T once again, but this time it's a G6 24 WS. It is six inches in diameter. It's equipped with Willock's WS strobe once again, so 1.5 candela with the glazed lens. And it is a vibrating bell, okay? And you come over here, it's once again flush mounted, no back box. And because there's actually a stud here, so that probably would be a difficult task to do. But, um, yeah, we got that. And, yes, this is actually mounted a little bit strange. As you can see, it's on a single gang, but it, um, I'm using the adapter plate from the Paratronic CDC24 vibrating chime, the, uh, the gold one. And I just, you know, use the single gang mounts and then the double gang mounts for the, the, the device. Nothing is here today. Because I want to keep the, I want to keep it a little bit more realistic, and uh, I could push, you know, I could have put a strobe there, but it's chilling. And once again, we have another RMS on um, RMS One T um, by RSG. So once again, we the system is in walk test, and let's go ahead and start pulling things, I guess. And the system's in March time, by the way. And by the way, if I resound this the same same device, it will just do whatever that's equivalent to one second. Uh, when it's in alarm, it will do four seconds, whatever the um and by the way, I don't know if you guys notice, but it does do the coding that you have programmed it to do. Um it's not like the 5 d where it just does continuous. Um but it, for alarm, it'll do it for four seconds. For real alarm, we do it for one second. So as you can see, it would it did uh, two pulse, um, which are both quarter seconds long, with with quarter second uh, pauses between, which equate to one second. So, in a way, uh, let's go ahead and do the pull stations first. Yeah, we, let's open this one. That's working good. I'm gonna see by the loft. And let's go ahead and pull this one, might as well. That's nice and loud in here, in this little gym. And um, let's go ahead and start hitting detectors, shall we? Um. I'm gonna just go ahead and do a magnet test. Cause to be honest, this is not my first take. So um and actually I'll explain that why that's not my first take, but let's see. And then we got this uh S D three fifty five T. Uh, where's the thing at? Is it right there? Or is it on the other side? Can't really see it right now. Oh, it's right here. Now reset, it's like normal. Now this detector is a little bit iffy. With the magnet test, but we'll see if it works. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, that time it worked. Because sometimes it gives me a test fail. But um, not that time, apparently. So, let's actually just turn this bathroom light off. Throw that in there. And then, as you can see, we can cycle through everything here using that acknowledge button. We should be able to. Hmm. Okay. Maybe gotta press it for longer. Well, it's probably just easier to do at the panel. <laughs> and so, yeah. Of course, all of our devices work great. Let's change our settings real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, the system is normal. So, we're going to do our phone alarm. System's actually continuous, which is going to be quite loud, to be honest with you. Not necessarily this one, because I actually found out that this actually has a, a bent striker. The striker is actually a tad bit bent. Um, so, it's going to sound a little bit more quiet at times, um, because the striker actually rotates a little bit. Um, and that's, I had to readjust it numerous times to get it in the, in a good position. Um, so well, hopefully it sounds decent, but, um, yeah. So without further ado, let's let these bells ring. Audible silence. And, um, yeah, this bell doesn't sound, you know. Uh, to be honest with you, I mean, I bought this bell for parts are not working anyways. I mean, the main reason was, was because the bell wasn't functioning properly. And it's just because the striker assembly was out the adjustment. But not only that, it, I found out that the striker is bent. So, well, it's just a l little bit, not too much of it. But it does have an effect of how it sounds. It's definitely not as loud as the 6 inch bells. Or, uh, definitely not as loud as the MBS. Um, but I guess it makes decent noise. But once again, this is two wire, so nothing here. Um, Yeah. So yeah guys. Um Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed System Test 60. Sorry for the wait. Um and once again guys, thank thank you again for 1000 subscribers. Keep up the good work. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.